It looks like a big disaster back here. Had problems with the amp going into uh, clipping a lot. I'm surprised none of this stuff has caught on fire. Okay, hear me out, hear me out real quick. Wanna take that spare tire down to build the subs firing down. Uh, I'm gonna delete the line driver. This is what happens after your amp goes into uh, clipping mode and then it goes into protect. It looks like a big disaster back here. I'm surprised none of this stuff has caught on fire yet. So I need to actually go ahead and clean this up before bad things actually happen. Now don't forget to like this video, man, and drop some comments. Comment where you guys are watching this video from or comment the speaker emoji for your chance to win the 210 Sundown Subwoofers. The other day we actually did a quick review on tear amps and i actually talked about if the tear amps are good for subwoofer base and yes they are but in one of the comments that i read man don't mind all that mess i'm gonna clean all that up right now oh, but in one of the comments that i actually read was that they do not like over five volts with rca input whether if that's true or not um, i could probably look on the spec sheet but um, I actually have a line driver connected to mine and the line driver is only connected to the sub amp. The only way to really find out if that tear amp does not like the line driver or high voltage with RCA inputs, we're definitely going to find out today. Remember previously I actually had problems with the amp going into uh, clipping a lot and it would go into a protect and then the, the app would just shut itself off. Under this panel with the mids and highs is my batteries and I actually did have a corrosion on one of the terminals and I actually went ahead, uh, cleaned it with the wire brush, um, got new washers, got a new bolt and now it's actually making solid metal to metal contact. So with the combination of myself, turning my sub volume up high and just being a typical base head, you know, I'll throw in my amp into clipping mode and it'll go into protect. And then I have to shut everything down, turn everything back up and just back down or go a little bit easy on my sub uh, volume. So I don't go into clipping mode again. That is a complete mess right now, but I'm gonna clean it up right now. But you know, what's the point of having so many amps and having yourself a nice little blow through with subs inside here. If I can't even enjoy them, you know, naturally and just bang out like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure you guys don't like to run into those problems and I don't want to run into the problems. And, you know, imagine if I pull up on the scene and I'm jamming, you know, really, really hard. And then all of a sudden, you know, my amp goes into protect and you know, the bass is all gone and all you just hear is mids and highs. Now my tear amps right now, let's see how high it's set up. Let's see. That's not good. My tear amps is probably only halfway up, if you guys can see right there. That was really, really bad. That's why I like my, my camera instead of my phone. But, you know, my, my level is actually halfway up. If I actually were to disconnect this guy out, I would probably have to at least pump this guy up just a tad bit more uh, just to get the same, you know, bass volume out that I would get, you know, with this guy. But if I go ahead and take this guy out, and pump that up now i'm going to be working my app more than what it's actually doing right now you see what i'm saying uh, but you know and doesn't hurt anything to try it out uh, maybe it is you know reading a lot of voltage through rca and it's causing it to go more into a clip um, to where we can just turn it up a little bit um, and just bring the gain up just to where it starts blinking the clip um, to the point where it doesn't go into protect you see what i'm saying With November and the classics approaching us, you know, my main thing is just making sure everything's working 1000% and maybe just replace a few things um, just to get it to sound a little bit louder. Cause I'm not even gonna lie guys, you know, even though the system is like a year old, man, that thing is holding up pretty good. Uh, and definitely it is still keeping up, you know, it looks good, man. This definitely is an eye turner. Uh, you see the white with the red, man, it definitely contrasts out. Um, so I'm at, I think if we just do a minimum of just a few things, um, we can still make it, man, and the truck will still look awesome. My main thing is like, I wanna make sure that my bass is 1000% and I can beat this thing like crazy at high volume, um, you know, even for a short period of time, but just make sure that the amp doesn't get hot and you know i can just play bass throughout the whole thing i don't know if you guys can even notice but i actually put like bolts as a, a riser 
Um, I could probably go to Home Depot and get rubber grommets and it'd probably work better. But I just lifted up the, the amp from the bottom just so it has airflow coming out of it. But the only thing that sucks is, you know, the app goes right here. And you see, although, you know, it doesn't touch the seat, but, you know, it comes out and, you know, the fans are going directly to the door. So that's one situation. But I could probably just put some fans and just, like, uh, figure out a way how to circulate air so, you know, it comes out of it. And then just make sure that uh, the amp stays nice and cool here and there. But November time, it is kind of cold. Uh, during around the first Florida Classics, so the amp's gonna stay pretty much cool. We just need to go ahead and dial that thing in, so that thing is like 1,000%. And definitely, all oh, this is gonna get rewired and nicely, just so everything just looks really, really beautiful. Um, and the cleaner you have your wiring, um, the less likely that you're gonna have something fail on you. You see what I'm saying? So that's, I'm gonna fix a lot of this up right now. I wanna make sure that my base amp and the subs are working really badass for the Florida Classics. Man, the subs are still good. Man, that thing is still beaten. Uh, now, mids and highs wise, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these tweeters just because I love how them tweeters work. But I actually wanna go ahead and take these eminences out and take all these mids out, like the eminences, the selenium, the EVs. Uh, some of them have like, man, the, the dust cap's blown off of them. Look at that, dust cap's gone. Man, that speaker's about gone. The YouTube logo, it's about done for. So I think I pretty much wanna go ahead and do something with these eights. Uh, the EQ would probably stay where it's at on the corner. You see the EQ is right here, man. It, it does really good right there. We have these mids and highs, man. What is that? Oh, I thought it was a tool. Now, some people have the Medusas that they put like right here and they can sit here and control the whole sound system. But man, you know, when we're at the Florida Classics, the last thing I want to do is just uh, come out with a big old uh, cord, set it up and having to sit up here because uh, when we're out there flexing at these gas stations, man, the police don't always pull up and try to shut it down. And it's going to take a lot for me to, you know, pick it up, put it back in. And by the time the police start kicking people out and all that stuff from the gas stations, uh, your boy's going to be there stuck trying to put the truck away. And guess who's going to get the ticket or probably get the truck towed? You know me. So I, ain't I don't have time for that. And with us testing speakers right next to each other, horns next to each other, tweeters next to each other, uh, amps, all that stuff, we are going to be able to do some massive upgrades that are going to turn this stunt wall into a crazy beast and take this, this silver auto build to the next level. Let me share you a few things that I'm going to do that's going to change the truck for the best. I am pretty much convinced from all the testing with all the other horns, I'm um, doing this one compared to the other bigger horn and other brands this one right here guys is definitely the one the driver alone man this is a big boy um so i can actually consider this a big dog horn oh so my plan is to go ahead and i want to build a tailgate tailgate piece right here um i obviously got all this area that i can build a tailgate piece um so when i put the tailgate up um i have enough clearance to put some horns right here so i actually want to try to load at least let's see one two three four okay so with that being said we could probably fit eight horns right here right there we have enough gap that we could probably put probably like a nice four row of some uh bullet style tweeters uh that we can find same thing as over here too we have enough space that we could probably put some tweeters um and then from from inside to inside man we can load this guy up with eight horns wrap it in the red uh, and just, you know, put some nice angles on them. And that's actually going to wake up the, the system like crazy back here. Now, I was thinking about taking these lids off and then loading them up with a horn here and a horn here and a horn there. Um, but I think what I'm actually going to end up doing is just I'm going to redo these side panels right here um, and then probably do um, a 10 if I can fit a 10 uh, or eight, leave the eight keep the jbl tweeter and then put a horn right here you see what i'm saying just so when you're standing on this side of the truck um it, it's talking and it's loud you see what i'm saying so same thing on the other side so we'd probably add another two horns right here right here just because we have a little bit of distance we can play with i want to go ahead and put maybe uh a tympano horn but something with a longer throat so these actually do the job of doing like a long distance uh sound those tympano uh, horns right here, I will tell you, um, up close, these things are dangerous. Um, so they're aggressive with the right amount of power. Uh, but I think if we were to go ahead and put some tympanos 
horns right here but with the longer throat and those have the shorter ones those will do a lot of action for you know just standing right here but these will do all the action uh throwing that voice a long distance now, i would like to get some tympano mid-range speakers i think i'd probably do all six tens mid-range and then maybe do the the two tens in the center like a mid bass uh, and then you know do mid range on the 12s as well too now if i were to go ahead and do the a uh 10 12 horns i would probably at least at least probably put uh man if i could put at least a 3000 watt amp on it uh, i think that thing would be screaming and talking like crazy those horns on its own eq and its own dsp and get those things to do some mad mad talking guys tweeters i would probably end up putting up at least like a 500 uh, watt amp just so i can guarantee not to blow them you see what i'm saying because even though i had i have a uh, ds uh 250 for the horn for the tweeters on my truck if i bridge them parallel all together and do a two ohm load at the amp man it's gonna blow them it happened to me last year at the classics the second day i was at the classic that was the only thing that really blew on me the tweeters you know and there was just the caps that blew out on them so i actually dropped the impedance down to like a four ohm uh, mono um and they they, they play good now you know what I'm saying i can't complain and that saves me from actually going ahead and blowing those guys out so i would probably at least put 500 watts on all the tweeters back there but put a massive 3000 watts on 12 of these horns and i would actually like to go ahead and put so these got uh 3k and 3k so that's 6,000 watts uh man i would actually like to put 5k and 5k and make 10,000 watts back here guys so that thing is so now i think it's like almost like a seven eight thousand watt system back here but now it's going to turn into like a twelve thousand watt uh, stunt wall system i don't expect a lot of mid bass out of the speakers when i do it uh and i feel the only thing that i'm lacking a lot back here is some bass because we do have the blow through but you only really hear the bass when it's going forward and we don't really have nothing much here and there's only so far that we can get with the bass back here but okay okay hear me out hear me out real quick hear me out real quick it sound, this is going to sound crazy, but we're going to go ahead and try it. I have the spare tire right there. My plan is to go ahead and take this there. My plan is to go ahead and take this spare tire down, although it's going to suck in case I get a flat tire, but I don't drive crazy. Um, I'll put new tires before I go to Orlando just in case. Um, but I want to take that spare tire down and I would actually like to build a box either for four tens or two twelves. Um, real deal subwoofers at that with the subs firing down bass guys and i feel like that right there would actually give us the bass experience that we are looking for um with subs firing down if you guys had ever fired some subs facing down you already know what they could do now imagine you know around the whole truck you know beating like that and i would actually like to put at least like 2000 watts maybe a thousand watts on that um we're not here to actually you know make everything rumble but just to give us that real deal subwoofer bass effect some people actually do uh real deal uh concert uh subwoofers in you know their builds on a lot of those stunt walls but i feel that those don't, don't actually produce like real deal bass like that they just make a really strong thump and probably some good bass but it's definitely not real deal subwoofer bass that it is like in my truck if i do upgrade like amps and all that stuff um or even if i just swap speakers out build uh, the thing for the horns um and still just at least put a 3000 watt in there i still need to get a few batteries um so i think i would probably buy either six more of those little batteries and then upgrade the alternator change this to an excess battery and then i actually have this location up here that actually i can actually go ahead and add another excess battery up here um, so what i would actually do is this spare battery and the batteries that are on the side of the the box i could just put that all for the sub amp and the new batteries i would put on would just be all for the mizzen high amp and then rerun run a, another uh hot gauge running to the back batteries and do power and ground running from the alternator to the back batteries itself so this thing is a charging machine even like the color combination that i decided to go with the truck it was just pretty much me watching uh videos and looking at pictures of like uh exotic cars and luxury cars because they do like a blue car with like orange or red interior on it um it's crazy but man if you just really you know have a creative mind man, it'll look good so what i actually had in mind to do is um do some red and blue lights you see what i'm saying uh, i could go ahead and do some blue lights to glow down 
uh, to make that glow up red do those type of lights that go inside the the edges the joints uh, maybe do that blue uh, and then like some red lights around it and then some stuff like that with here too and maybe just do a nice red underglow um, so at night we actually look like we're, we're doing something crazy now another thing too that i actually lacked when i was at the florida classics last year too i didn't have no speakers uh, in the grill or nothing facing forward so what i think i'm gonna end up doing is if we were to take those eights out um, i'd put those under here so we at least have some vocal in the front so people can hear us talking uh, or you know which i probably will not do but i could actually do like a headliner power panel um, and put like probably like four eights and two tweeters or horns back there just to give us the extra vocal when we're driving down the road but that would just i feel like that would just take so much time and add a lot more stress on getting the truck done versus just building one panel and then rewiring some stuff up some batteries and you know etc cetera, etc cetera. you know last year we actually um man we did a full-blown system installing and everything within a week and listen guys like you guys don't know how stressful that was the moment i got to orlando got out to the scene and started jamming once and the day one when i got back into the hotel and man i just felt relief that a week of not sleeping was finally over and i got to enjoy my truck so it was a real proud moment but man stressful at the same time and i do not want to go through that again let me hook up the subs back to that terror amps uh, i'm going to delete the uh the line driver and then i'm going to turn the camera back on so we can hear what it sounds like Right, mine is the dirt man i cleaned it up pretty good so i actually deleted the line driver i actually deleted the epicenter as well too so now it's basically uh eq and i actually connected to the sub out on my prv crossover so it's going from sub out and directly to the tear amps the tear amps is still adjusted to the way i had it before i actually took all those pieces out so now we can actually hear what the bass actually sounds like with no line driver and with no epicenter, uh, hopefully the signal got brought down a little bit and it's definitely going to do its thing and base out like I already know it's going to do. Now your boy's going to jam this truck in the front yard, man. You already know, man, the folk around here don't like that. They could call the cops, man, but we got to do it for the gang, man. Let's get it. All right, let's turn this up real quick. Right now, I actually got the sub pumped up all the way up and it's not doing um, that much basing but I feel that I need to go ahead and turn the level up on the crossover so it'll catch up with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this level up just a bit. Quite, quite a bit. Okay, turn that down, turn this up. And without taking out the line driver, we probably need to pump up just the amp just a tad bit. Okay, the amp actually clipped out, but your boy had actually pumped it up a tad bit too much. Uh, we're going to actually lift it up and see where it's set. And we're just going to back it back a hair. And same thing on the crossover. So it's not getting too much signal. And I think that thing is set perfect. Man, that money back, yo, was just beating way too much. But look, it, this is what happens after your amp goes into uh, clipping mode and then it goes into protect. Okay, so the amp is pretty much at like halfway. So we're just gonna like back it back just a little bit. I think that should be good right there. A little bit below that. And then now this one, we're gonna probably put it at three quarters maybe right there. And I think we should be good. Phase is at zero. The Hertz is at, phases at zero, uh, low pass is at 80. Uh, subsonic filter, we'll actually do that flat. 
and then bass boost we'll just keep it at like halfway it is loud but i don't have to put the game up the game up that crazy for it to really get down uh so i actually just probably even after today i have to sit here and dial it into it's perfect but you know the theory with the box does everything man that's definitely the thing here man i think beats even with the 100 watts that we did on that test the other day enough before they actually call them folk out on me and they come and knock it on the door again but man i feel that the base with changing out those rcas and eliminating all those crossovers man that thing is ridiculous guys ridiculous the base i feel it solid uh it just clipped out on me because i actually did pump up the, the gains and i probably don't have the battery power to like really keep up with it at that volume of the gains but i backed it down probably played it a little bit more longer and man that thing is squatting like crazy man i love bass i love bass i'm not even gonna lie to you man that's what it's all about i'm actually happy with it right now uh so i'm probably gonna play with it for a few days not like that and then see what it does and the only thing that i would actually like to connect back up it is the the bass doubler like the epicenter just because i do listen to some songs that i need some extra bass and your boy wants to have that option to hit that knob and then we can listen to like some george michael or some stuff like that and, and bass out like crazy i hope you guys enjoyed today's video man if this is if you guys are watching this on sunday which you probably are early morning man hope you guys have a blessed fun day with your family um and i will catch you guys on the next one so real quick we're only dropping videos sunday wednesday and fridays from now on guys you know what i'm saying uh man stay tuned for the videos sunday wednesday and friday and hope you guys enjoy them uh man hit that like uh subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 10k subscribers man drop some comments let me know where you guys are watching this from you guys could win some 10-inch Sundown subwoofers. I will catch you guys on the next one. Man, keep jamming.